Hey Will, thanks for meeting me out here in front of the plant. I know it's COVID times. We slagged up Unit 3 last night. Oh, what the heck happened? We had one of the oxygen probes reading high. That's when the reheater deposit formed. So you had uh, high oxygen and you got a slag deposit? Yes sir. One of the old time operators, Coleman, he said that he thought the total air was running lower than normal. The deposit had already formed and the ash that was entering the reheater seemed wet or molten. That sort of indicates reducing atmospheres which would go along with the lower total airflow. Yeah, the slag ended up getting bigger and we had to come offline. Here's a sample of some slag if you'd like to take a look at it. Hey Rod, thanks for getting back to me so quickly. Hey Will, happy to get back to you so soon. I'm thinking there's some sort of air in leakage just prior to the O2 probe. I'm thinking you ought to look for an expansion joint failure or a big door open, something along those lines. I know Big Creek Power burns a high sulfur coal, so I expect to see a high iron in the ash. And I know that reducing conditions or low furnace oxygen levels can lower the fusion temperatures, sometimes hundreds of degrees, particularly with high sulfur coals. We actually found an expansion joint failure with a big tear on the side where the oxygen probe red high. Can you show me how you got to that conclusion? Yes. Let me show you the airflow calculations I use. The low airflow value is calculated out to a true excess oxygen value of only about 1%. I know you typically try to run 3. This created the high carbon monoxide or high CO environment because the furnace oxygen was only about 1%. That's what happened when that O2 gauge started reading high numbers like 8 or 9. So we can keep track of total air as a check on the O2 average? Yes, Will. Remember, it's just important to have plenty of air when burning high sulfur coals. Thanks, Rod. Coal combustion always comes through for us every time. Make sure you drop off that invoice. And there you have it. Another episode in Coal Combustion Investigators. For years, Coal Combustion has been helping coal plants and coal mines understand the business of coal. We offer consulting and training services worldwide. Please visit our website at www.coalcombustion.com for links to papers, presentations, and more videos.